Monica and friends in Art at the Park. Monica. Hi, Marina. It's you. My exhibition is today, remember? Of course I do. You promised me that you would help set everything up with me. You can count on me, Marina. Oh, I am so very excited. It's my first exhibition. Even if it's not in an art gallery, an exhibition at the park is super cool, too. After all, the park is an open democratic space. It's open to every type of expression. Is this wall okay? It's a great choice. Let's set everything up on it. It's going to be so pretty. Let's put it all in order. First, here will be the sketches. My still lifes will hang here, my landscapes here, animals, human figures. Huh? I don't remember going through a cubist phase. How strange. Who was the model for this? I don't think I did this one, Monica. If you're not gonna buy it, then please put it back in its place. Jimmy Five, what's the meaning of all this? Are you trying to get in the way of Marina's art exhibition? The park is an open democratic space, open to every type of expression there is. Didn't I just say that a little while ago? But these are just scribbles, they're not art. Since when did you become a specialized art critic? Oh, you know that you're only doing this to annoy me. I'm only a talented person trying to showcase my latest work. A troubled, conflicted personality searching for his own self-worth in a judging huh? world. Your own shelf? Not shelf. I said self. Then what in the world are you drawing me for? I am trying to portray the many horrors of the modern world. Never mind that, Monica. He has the right to display his artwork here, too. Yeah, but he is so bothersome. Ay, ay. I simply cannot tolerate this war of egos that some of my colleagues love to promote. Hi, Marina. I heard about your exhibition. It's amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Sonny. I decided to exhibit a few paintings so that the public can connect with all of my art. So cool. They're all nice. What's up, Jimmy Five? I didn't know you had an exhibition here, too. Yeah, that's how I am. I'm multi-talented, multi-faceted, multi-colorful, multi-many other things, you know what I mean? Do you want the public to connect with your art as well? Well, no. I was thinking along the lines of fame and fortune, actually. <laughs> What? But all your drawings are just to make fun of Monica. Every art exhibit needs a theme, right? Even my two-year-old cousin would draw her better. You a liar. Your cousin is three now. And he still colors outside of the lines and eats all of his crayons. Yup, yup. Huh. Just give up. Nobody wants to look at these. Hey, Moina. You're getting in the way of my business. Huh? How so? You need to go exhibit your artwork far away from me. By the time people reach me, they'll already be bored by looking at your paintings. I think the problem is something else. Hey, I have been organizing this exhibit for a long time now. And it is only for appreciation purposes. This is not a competition. This amateurism is what is hurting our community. I'm not afraid of the competition. All I need is a little more publicity. Huh. Things are moving kind of slow, huh? It must be the heat wave. Uh, most people don't value true art anymore. I need to investigate and find out what the problem is. How cool! I want a portrait of myself. Ah, oh, that must be it. That must be the reason why no one is reaching my exhibition. Some are weakness playing dirty, huh? I need to act now. What's that there lying around? That must be Moena's magic pencil. That's exactly what I need to follow up my business. Gosh, Monica, I think I drew a lot of portraits. Yeah, and now it's calmed down a bit. I thought that Jimmy Five had given up trying to sell his pieces. There you go. This is your drawing. And you don't even need to carry it around. Cool, huh? Ha! That's cool! Jimmy Five! What do you think you're doing? What? I'm just trying to want an honest business. And business is booming now. <laughs> honest business? Horsewash, you have taken my pencil. It was just lying on the ground. You give that back to me now. You can't stand for other people's success, can you? I'm so sorry, Smudge, but I'm going to have to erase huh? your drawing. But, 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 but I just paid for it. Give him back his money, then. Well, but he didn't pay me a money. And I bet there's some gummies missing from in here. Jimmy Five, you're always up to something. I am such a misunderstood talent. Was that the only drawing you made with it? Yeah. I was so close to becoming a huge success. I now see that you can't live off of your art. You just need to learn how to draw well, to paint, and dedicate yourself fully. Yeah, that sounds like way too much work. Never mind him, Marina. He's never going to learn at all. 
Well, let's gather up all the drawings. Apart from that, the exhibition was a huge success. I loved it too! And who knows, you could organize a new one soon. Hey, who's the new girl? I've never seen her around here. You know, she looks like she could really use a diet, Marina. What about those teeth? My gosh! Monica, that new girl is you! Wait, what? Are you crazy, Marina? It's a picture of you drawn by Jimmy at five using my magic pencil! Why, that brat! It's about time Jimmy Five gets a good knock upside his head! He lied when he told us he hadn't drawn any others! Jimmy Five! You never learn, do you? What did I do this time? What did you do? Why not tell us who that is coming over here? What? It's Monica. What's happening? Do you have a twin sister uh, now? No, we know that you were the one who made this ugly drawing of me. And then you told us that there were no other drawings. That must have been from when I was practicing. But she looks perfect, right? Like two chubby butt tooth <gasps> girls. It's like there was some kind of mirror out here. <laughs> Monica's? Why are you giving me those looks? I believe that you have created more than enough trouble for today. Oh, 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 come on, that's so unfair. Paulina, you have to do something. Yeah. And I will. But I'll let them learn a lesson. An artist is always responsible for their art. Monica and friends in Two Princesses and a Brat. Maggie isn't home right now, Monica. She's at her ballet class. I forgot that Maggie had started taking ballet classes. Hey there, Justine. Hi, Monica. I can't stop and chat right now. I've got my guitar lessons. I can see that. Hey, Marina. You're painting, huh? Yes. Like it? That looks so good. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's wrong, Monica? Is it my painting that makes you feel sad? That's not it. It just seems like everybody's got something fun to do today. And it looks like I ended up all alone. To feel so down. I would love to play with you. You mean it? I can finish painting later. In that case, go get your doll in. No, I didn't bring a doll today. What now? I only have this one. Well, maybe I'll use my pencil to draw another doll to play with. That's cool. And that way we can both play. Let me see. And there. How's that? She looks so cute. And that's not all of it. She can walk and move her arms, too. You didn't need to overdo it, you know. Well, it's just, since I was making a doll, I decided to include some of my artistic touches. But since we're playing around, how about we make a great setting, too? Cool, you can draw a grand castle for each one of us. And then our dolls could be princesses. And they live in tall towers, waiting longingly for their Prince Charmings to arrive. <laughs> Hello, princess. How are things going over there at your castle? Everything's fine, princess. I'm here waiting for my Prince Charming to arrive. I am too. He's been hunting a dragon for quite a while and he hasn't come back yet. Oh, well, you know, princes, they're always running late. That's true. So then. Oh, Marina, this whole waiting for a prince business is getting really boring. They only ever show up at the end of the stories when everything's already been taken care of. That's so true. Why don't we try something different? I think we should draw a prince so he can join our story. Awesome, go for it. There we go. A prince with a horse and everything. And my prince won't be going off to any battles. Stick around here, my dearest. Hey, what makes you think that you can call my prince your dearest? Oh my, that's right. I only drew one prince for both of our dolls. I'll draw another one and... Huh? Where is my pencil? Jimmy Five, what do you think you're doing with my pencil? I'm dwelling a moat full of crocodiles around the castles. Huh? This way no one can ever enter the castles. And no one can ever leave either. You like it? Of course this little brat had to show up and find a way to ruin our game. Give me back my pencil, Jimmy Five. I'm still using it. Now where is he going? What is that? <gasps> oh, no! It's a giant monster! Just what I've always wanted. A monster with huge, destructive claws that'll do everything that I say. What do we do, Marina? We're going to be crushed soon! know how to draw huge, destructive claws, so I drew little feet instead, okay? Get out of here, you monster! I'm going to get you, Jimmy Five! Let's go after him, Monica! Oh, no! Excuse me, Prince, it's an emergency! Follow that boy, horsey! You should have drawn a bigger horse for us! I, I didn't know we would have to ride it ourselves! Look there! What are those stairs? We're going to have to abandon our horse! Everybody knows that horses don't know how to climb up stairs. It's an 
escalator, actually. Oh, that's good. That way we don't get too tired climbing. Unfortunately, it only goes down. Run faster, Marina, or we're never going to make it up to the top. Oh, we're finally up here. And what is that doing there? Jimmy Five drew a track on rails. Well, at least he also drew a wagon for us to use. Too lazy to twa the west of it. I think we're going to fall. Don't you two worry. I'm gonna twa something to break your fall. Then drive faster. Jeez, mm, it's so hard to twa a good pillow. I'll just a waste it and twa again from scratch. Give me five. I know. I'll just twa a spring. That's much easier. A spring? Why would you draw a spring? <laughs> to break your fall. See? Although they bounce back and even higher this time. Nuts! 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 I'm gonna draw you a nice, calm, crystal clear lake. Ah! Did you see where he happened to run off to? No. I think that he. Huh? Ah! Get out of the way! The gigantic is passing through! What is that? Is that an iceberg? Oh no, it's just a whale. You'll pay for that! Just so neither of you can say that I'm not charitable, I am going to draw you something to float on. It's a door. So you can float just like Leonardo the Capricorn. Huh? I'm really getting tired of his jokes. But this time he made a grave mistake. How so? Using this door that he drew with the magic pencil, we now have a passageway. How come Leonardo the Capricorn never thought of this? <laughs> I can be so ironic. I got you. Hmm. Hey, how did you two get up here? That's my see. Oh, I surrender. Give Marina her pencil back now. Hmm. I'm sorry, Marina. All that power went straight to my head. What you did today was very bad. Now we're going to have to fix this whole mess. I will help you. And never do that again, Jimmy Five. It can be very dangerous. Oh, I'm very sorry. Is there any way that I can make up for what I've done? Hmm, I think there is something. You've returned, my friends. We missed you so much. Jeez, I can't believe that I agreed to this. Monica's friends in quiet this looks like a perfect spot for me to stay. It's peaceful, secluded, and it's silent. This place is peachy. Mwah. I'm going to draw something. In order to do that, I will need all my concentration. We artists need a lot of silence. That's how we get our inspiration. So like the songs of birds singing, time to let the imagination fly. Ah! Ah! What are you doing just sitting there, Marina? Haven't you heard it yet? Oh! Haven't heard yet what? The awful noise! Listen! Huh? Ah! <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, thunder cracks! Storms are brewing, Marina! Oh, it's the apocalypse! Ah! Apocalypse? <laughs> really? But it was just a little thunder. It's not even raining. Looks like Smudge finally lost it. He broke my concentration. We artists need to have peace. I can draw a nice flower or maybe a butterfly. Or that nice little bird that's about to sing. Mm. Oh no! It's the apocalypse! It's the apocalypse! Ah! Huh? Oh. oh, my poor little stomach. I'm always so hungry. I just knew it. Those five watermelons I ate wouldn't be enough. Hmm. How crazy. I'll move over to this side. At least I'll be out of the way of the famished and the desperate. Ah, this smooth breeze brings me inspiration. The wind gently caresses my sleeping ideas. Ah! What was that? Save your own souls! It's a meteor shower! It's an alien invasion! The revenge of the moles! It's the... it's the... the... Ah! Hmm. I'm out of practice. It's the second time today that I miss hitting Jimmy Five's noggin. 
hit his noggin? I don't want to hear about any more noise. All I want to do is draw. Hmm. Find inspiration. Oh my god! I'm not your dog! Do you want to know something? 